Hi viewers, welcome to Alumni Solution. Today we are going to see about how to use ANN for detecting the fault, classify the fault, and locate the fault in the IEEE 13 node uh, test feeder. So, this is the uh, IEEE uh, 13 node feeder. So, I, it is already available in the uh, MATLAB okay, demo version uh, in demo or example. Okay. So here uh, we are going to create the fault in different buses. So uh, for example, you consider there are the here you see that uh, there are uh, 12 buses in this simulating model. Here you can see that bus number 632, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, 11, 12. Okay. And then this feeder is like uh, unbalanced load, right? Uh, this feeder having balance the solar and balance the load in the each node point okay so here we are going to create the fault in the each uh, node point or bus point okay and then you are going to collect the data so how we are going to collect the data we are going to collect the data by abc and then uh, here we are going to collect the data and then here we are going to collect the data so we are going to collect the data so the data going to be used as a uh, uh, input data set and then for each part we are going to create some labeling okay uh, in the form of binary okay so that will be act as a target okay so that will going to be used to do a train in the ANN for fault detection classification and the location finding okay so how we are going to do right so here you see that right we have uh, different uh, that mean each first right so here you see that in first node right so for example I'm opening this model so in this model we are going to create the fault in this point and then we are going to collect the data okay that means we are going to create the fault different fault so what kind of fault we are going to create so line to ground fault line to line fault line to ground fault and triple line fault and triple line to ground fault so so we have to create separate model for each node okay so there are 12 node is there 13 node okay so here we have that uh, that bus point will be 13 okay so uh, here we, we, we created in the different uh, node point and then we are collect the data. Okay. So just you have to create the different uh, fault like line to line, uh, line to ground, single line to ground, and so on. Right. So we are creating different fault and collecting the data. So the data set will be stored like this in bus number and that will each node, right? So we fix the after collecting the data that will be stored in the matrix form okay that much fine so here you will see that you will have the data so data set data the target okay so that will be finally after collecting all data set at the each node right finally you are going to uh, combine the data set and then the data set will be used to train the neural network okay so for that here here finally we have that the all matrix after um, collection of data right so you see see that right so all data set available in the dot mat file so that dot mat file we are loading here and then this we are now we are creating the input data set based upon data data collected from the each node detail and then we are uh, doing that uh, detection and classification process that means we are putting the target to say classification and then we are making data for this is data for a location finding okay so we are making that location finding data set so finally we have that location data set so input data set is stored in the here input variable and then classification data set will be stored here location data set is stored so once you run this code right so the data set available here that means here you see that right this is this one is input data set okay and then this is reduction data set or classification data set and this is location data set okay so now we go to the training process so just you go to ann or nn start so once you type this nn start right so you will see this uh, neural network uh, training uh, window so just you click picking so next so next you will see this window and click import and input data and then click uh, that input data set and then target data set so here you have to click this one and click rows and click OK and then click training process. Okay. So once you, you do, uh, do this training process, so it will take some time to train the 
and neural network so based upon our input and the target so now you see that right training process completed so now you can see the performance graph so this is a performance plot for that training testing and validation and also you can check the regression so this is a regression plot for that uh, uh, training process for a detection class the same way you can uh, and then uh, and then if you want this ANN for simulation model click export and click export to simulation so then you will get that ANN model here okay for a detection and classification so if you want you can copy this one and then you can use in the simulation model already we trained that everything okay so next you go with the other training that means for location finding so here also go to input data and then import the feed that input data and feed the dark target data next to click train so here is the training process detail and then uh, mean square error and the r value so this is a performance graph for the training validation and testing and then this is recursion graph for the uh, trained ANN if you want you can export this simulation model and then you can use this simulation model for a location finding the next process after training everything so we need to use that model in the final here so here the data set so input right input from that uh, system so that will be feed up to ANN for reduction and classification and then this is for location finding okay and uh, here we have that uh, decoding logic for a uh, different faults so here you see that right so here we have fault detection whether fault is occur or not and then we have that uh, different uh, classification of fault that means uh, single line to ground fault double line to ground fault triple line to ground fault double line fault and then triple line fault okay so here uh, see that right here i have created fault in here fault is bc and ground fault okay and location is around in between 671 okay so somewhere else in 671 or near to the 671 buses okay so when you run this one so you will see that result so here see that right this fault is detected now the fault is classified at the bcg fault okay and also you can see the uh, location also so here you see that right you will get the uh, around 671 Okay, the fault is occurred around the 671. So the fault is occurred near to 671. Okay. So now I am changing the fault to A B fault. And then you need to check that one. So you do have some accuracy, right? Uh, so you need to check, you have to create all fault and then check the results. Now you see that right. The fault is detected, the fault is classified as A B fault. Okay, and the location is comes around the 671. The same way you, you can place the fault in somewhere else. For example, I'm putting this fault around uh, this point. Okay, so I'm putting fault here, and now I'm checking the fault classification and reduction, and also location finding. So now also you see that right so fault is detected, fault is classified as CAB fault. And then we are getting the fault location is around 671, so 6, 675. So here you see that right, the fault is uh, nearer to that 675 node. Okay, so that here you will see that the deduction and the classification, and this in this uh, here you can see the location of the node location of the fault. Okay, so so this is working out that the fault detection classification location in the 13 node test feeder in matlab so thanks for watching our videos kindly subscribe the channel and also bell icon for notification about upcoming videos thank you thank you so much bye bye